upgradation should happen to a point wherever you stand, you stand out. Even if you die, you must live. But when you're living, you should not be dead. Many sages, saints like this, who lived so intensely that after a few thousand years, we still cannot forget them. This much must happen to you that your body, your mind, your emotion, your energies are, or not, are not an impediment in your life. Just yesterday somebody was reminding me, even I didn't realize this, I had a hard schedule in United States and UK, I landed here. Just one day in the ashram, then I went to Australia, endless schedule. One day I went down with some stupid fever and uh, then I came back here, just one day, then I went to Nepal, I trekked in Kailash, Nepal trek, Kailash trek, I came back. Not even one day, half a day, then I was off to Kaveri calling. You know, I was on five-day national tour where uh, you know, trying to get all this political stuff going for Kaveri calling. I came back and the same day I started for Kaveri calling. And I finished this, I came here just not even a day, seventeenth came, we came, eighteenth early morning, nine o'clock I left again for meetings in Bangalore and it's been on, 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 only yesterday I came back. So they were saying, Sadhguru, you've not had a single break, day's break. Today is my break day, <laughs> okay? <laughs> What are you clapping your hands? <laughs> Since morning there have been piles of files and here you are, all of you. <laughs> and now there are meetings and meetings and at eleven o'clock there is Kala Bhairava Karma tonight, Mahalaya Amavasya, this is a break day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Will the body complain sometimes? Of course it does. If the body is not complaining, that means you're not using it. Hello? It must complain, but you don't complain. This is all you have to learn. For this, you need devotion towards what you're doing. If you don't have devotion, before the body, mind will complain, emotion will complain, everything will complain. No, no, no. First, body should complain, that means you're stretched physically. Then mind can take a little judicious, judicious decision like me, you can take a break like me. That means only till twelve o'clock you're active in the night. Only till midnight, after that you're sleeping. Otherwise it'll go on till two a.m. It's a break day. If your body is not feeling, life is tough, body, not mind. <laughs> if your body is not feeling life is tough, that means you're not doing anything worthwhile. Hmm? Your body should be constantly stretched, it must feel it's tough. When you go to bed, you should not sleep, you must die. <laughs> yes. One pillow like this. Neend nahi aara hai. No. You lie down on the rock, you fall dead, just like that. That's how you should be by the end of the day. Huh? Yes. Then next day morning it will bounce back as if it's being born again. Um, this way, no, you must feel it's tough on the system because this is the nature of this. The harder you stretch it, the stronger it becomes, the better it becomes, huh? Those who are trying to save it for another day, not using it, oh, they will… Life cannot be preserved. This must be understood, huh? Dead things can be preserved, 
life cannot be preserved, it can only be nourished and used. If you're trying to preserve and save yourself, not going to work. They were constantly bombarding me in… Uh, where was it? Bangalore or Delhi somewhere with too much activity, non-stop meeting. I said, I'm going on a vacation for one hour <laughs> When you're young, even that one-hour vacation should not exist in your life, yes? Otherwise you will grow old too soon, yes? Those who take too many vacations, they will grow old too soon. When you're young, not even five minutes vacation, this doesn't mean you're doing something, doing something, doing something. This means in one way or the other, you're constantly upgrading yourself either with external work or internal work. But upgradation should happen to a point wherever you stand, you stand out. This is not in competition with anybody, but this life must get to its full scope. Isn't it so? This is what every life is trying, this is not unique to us. A coconut tree is doing everything possible to become a good coconut tree, full-fledged. So is a bird, so is a grasshopper, so is a worm, so is an elephant, so is everything, isn't it so? Only human being is hesitating because uh, they did not learn how to handle their own cerebral activity. Their own thought is just messing them up. Even a basic question, should I, be should I become a full-fledged life or not, such a question has become a debate and people think it's intelligence. Hello? Whether you should become a full-fledged human being or not, is there a debate, debate about it? Huh? There's no debate about it, that's a way of life. This has to become a full-fledged life. If this becomes a full-fledged life, what will it do? I don't care what it does. Whatever it does, it will do it very well. That's all that's important. Hmm? Whatever it does, it will do it well. That's all that matters. It's not only one kind of activity is important in the world, every activity is important. If it is done well, it's fantastic, whatever it is. Somebody sweeps the floor, see they have done well, is it not wonderful? Is this a lesser job than something else? So, for this, to look at everything the same way, to function at full speed all the time, you need devotion, you need the fire of devotion. Otherwise, uh, Thaira. Why am I talking against Thaira? <laughs> this could become discriminatory against the cows. Even if you die, you must live. But when you're living, you should not be dead, isn't it? Hello? Those who really lived totally, even if they are dead long time ago, they still live, isn't it, in some way? Yes or no? Well, we still remember Adiyogi after thousands of years because he lived so intensely. Many sages, saints like this, who lived so intensely that after a few thousand years we still cannot forget them, they still live in our minds and hearts. In a couple of days uh, is Mahatma Gandhi's 150th birth anniversary. See, the man still lives simply because whatever he was doing, we can agree, disagree with him on many things, but whatever he was doing, Doing it absolutely, without hesitation, isn't it? This much must happen to you, that your body, your mind, your emotion, your energies are, or not, are not an impediment in your life. They are instruments of empowerment in your life. This much you must do. <laughs>